Hello, my name's Sandra Ross and I'm going to take you through this very interesting exhibition called Barely Wearable by Ruth Downs. So Ruth, um, what is the concept behind your exhibition Barely Wearable? Well, it's really about um, reappropriating <clears throat> materials that would be thrown away and yet there is an innate beauty in them. So I love to um, bear to wear these adornments, <laughs> ah. which is why it's called Barely Wearable. Um, you're interested in fashion and design, Ruth. Um, how has this influenced your work? Oh, it's influenced me a lot. Um, I trained in design and I am so attracted to the visuals of design and turning it into art forms, but also using nature, um, materials from nature that I find and materials that are part of um, production of clothing for fashion and architecture and everything really it just absorbs me and by playing with it I think of humor on the journey and then it's a sort of an artwork and a design piece that could have a functional aspect but mostly it's um, just to focus the brain on that diversity of that material and give it humor. Can you tell us a little more about your process you know this idea of sort of getting order out of chaos. <laughs> ah, the process. Well, I find materials and keep them and then I want to play with it. I don't necessarily have a, an outcome in my brain, but I want to play and evolve it as, you know, fast or slowly is. It works. Um, can you tell us a little bit more about your work, Out Damned Spot. I thought of that when I was staying in a motel for two nights and I could see all the shampoo, conditioners and body wash containers were picked up every day and thrown out regardless of whether they were really used. Uh, what's the story uh, behind your work called Close Shave? Ah. The very close shave um, was triggered when I saw razor blades for sale in Kmart, very, very cheap. And I thought people throw them out after one use. So I asked the man next door to where I work if he'd like to be a model to put these on. And he was a mechanic. He threw off his t-shirt, put them on, took a photo, and he just shaved his chest by chance. The work uh, titled Caffeinated uh, kind of intrigues me and can you talk a little bit more about that whole idea of the discarded coffee pods? Ah uh, yes, coffee pods are a huge waste. Um, I had a friend collect these for me and then I researched that three million coffee pods are consumed each day in Australia and each one takes 150 to 500 years to break down. That's extraordinary isn't it that it takes mm, that It long. is and I think there's an innate beauty in those as well. Cleaning them out was a demanding process. I had to drill holes in them all and think of appropriate spacing so they would work to hang around a neck and visually look good. Um, I want to talk to you now about your work called Brazar. Brazar, a lovely play on yes. words. Can you, yes. Can you talk a little bit about that one? Yes, I can. Um, I was in a recycling shop in Sydney and saw packets of bra underwires and they uh, sold in packets of about 50 different sizes so I bought a couple of packets with about um, 50 I think for about two dollars and then thought well I'll 
put them through a strainer and they look like a rather extreme bra. The, the work called Hear Me Out, can you talk about that one too? CDs are definitely another item that a lot of people purchase and keep but don't use and then they get discarded. Well, I hope you enjoyed uh, meeting Ruth Downs and hearing a little more about this exhibition, Barely Wearable, which is on view at the Gympie Regional Gallery until the 1st of April. So make sure you pop in and have a walk yourself. <laughs>